So let's have a look how those freehold covenants can be found in the official copies. I think something what we have on the right is very classical. So it can be very lengthy, it can be like the whole schedule of different sort of restrictive covenants. Again, restrictive covenants, they can run with the land. And uh, here, if you could help me, again, it's all on the charges register, right, usually? Yes, yeah, that's where, I, where I'd be looking. Um, this one that we're looking at now on the left, this is a situation where if I was acting for a buyer, uh, I would be asking the seller to provide um, an indemnity policy to cover this. Because what this is telling us is that the land is affected by covenants, but we don't actually know what they are. So somebody may come forward and say, uh, there's notice, you've had notice that these covenants exist. I have a copy of the conveyance um, in which these covenants were created and you're in breach. Uh, I think it's unlikely that that would happen, but if I was acting for a buyer, I would want indemnity insurance to cover the risk of these unknown covenants. Mm -hmm. But it's, is it the same? We just considered a similar situation with the reference to an agreement uh, when we covered easements. Um, so is it sort of similar situation that register can actually have some details of those covenants? It, it could. Uh, as I say, the two things you would normally expect to see are what we have on the right, where they've actually put an extract from the relevant document, or where they put an entry and they say copy filed, and they will give you the whole document. What we have here, though, is something that says that neither the original deed nor a certified copy or examined abstract were provided. So the land registry are basically saying these covenants exist, but no one's actually told us what they are. So the land is burdened by these covenants, but we don't have any real means of finding out what those covenants are, um, which is why I would be asking for insurance. Yeah, thank you very much.